<laughs> what is up, you guys? It's Connor here, and today I'm doing a dual con with my very good friend, the number one source of bad content. What's going on, guys? Me, Shuri Shi, right here, doing the dual con with Connie Moose right now, yep. giving you this content. Like this shit. Awesome. Awesome self suggestion. You know what? I think you're one of the only people who has actually got my name right. Because everyone else says Akanimus or Akanonimus. Just what since when were there two M's in there? Yeah, man. Like I, th I heard you pronounce the name, so I think I, I just mem remembered it. Like I'm not really good with names, so I don't know how I would have said it if I didn't hear you say it before. Fair enough. A Coney Moose. Yeah, I know. <laughs> this is like all these northern people on the Xbox. A Coney Moose. Please <laughs> get off the game, a Coney Moose. I don't care. Jeez. But anyway, we're not talking about some uh, chat that can't pronounce names properly today. We're just talking about gaming. Um, yeah, talking about gaming. So, man, how, how did you get into gaming, bro? Uh, I think I was around like six, and my dad had a PlayStation 1, and I used to play Lara Croft with him. So, it's fun and awesome. And then I started getting into PC because I got Tomb Raider 3 and just ran around the house shooting the butler. And then I just got a PS2 and played a bunch of games from there. One of the games of my childhood was uh, Final Fantasy 7. Weird game from childhood, but it would be one of the best games ever. Definitely. Yeah, man. Like, for me personally, I started also with the PlayStation 1. I got it from, like, my cousin. And uh, he, he got me the PlayStation 1 and the game Driver. So all uh, I did was just drive around, drive around, drive around. Like, my parents, I remember my parents always used to yell at me because whenever there was a red light, I just kept on driving, and they're like, you idiot, you're going to cause a crash. And I'm like, no, don't worry. It's, it's a, just a video game. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, you're going to cause the cops to arrest you. And I'm like, it's just a video game. Calm yourself. Well, you were you were that young, and then the situation has been reversed. They sound like the kids in the house. Yeah, man. And then, <laughs> uh, then I got an Xbox, the mm. 360, and I did not have a memory card because I had the the normal, the crappy, the ten dollar <coughs> Xbox 360. $10. So, so I couldn't have a memory card. So i was it's just even like more ludicrous in the uk because it's like five pounds yeah man i swear whenever i was going to play a game i remember my first game was the game cars like the movie cars <laughs> and oh, i was God. playing that game i got to a certain level i turned off my xbox turned it back on i played the same thing over and over again because it never <laughs> saved my progress so I, I used was... to play Ratchet and Clank, Lego Star Wars, amazing games. But Final Fantasy VII was awesome because it is—it was the first ever RPG ever made. I and actually never however, played Final Fantasy. <laughs> you, all of the other ones besides seven and eight are terrible. Um, <laughs> they're absolutely horrific. But set eight was really good for its graphics because the couple of years before it was seven, the greatest game ever, one of the greatest games ever, and basically the whole graphics were polygons. So the characters' arms were mainly made up of two triangles and a circle. Whoa, that's uh, yeah. that's some really detailed graphics. shit. Yeah, I mean... yeah, it's totally amazing. But uh, <laughs> no, it's, a, it's the storyline is fantastic. It's unbeatable. Yeah, that's that's cool. It's unbeatable as in you can't beat the game, or is it unbeatable as in it's one of the best storylines ever? Uh, one of the best storylines ever. I'm not sure if you can. You can beat the game. You can beat the main story, and then you've got a bunch of like mini side quests. I think. Right, that's cool, man. That's yeah. cool. Yeah, man. Yeah. Like, what's your what's your main uh? Like, I was going to touch up on the Black Ops Two DLC. Uh, what what do you think of it, man? What are you what are your whole opinions of the Black Ops Two DLC? It looks awesome, I will say that, but I'm slightly annoyed with it, seeing as what happened yesterday. Basically, I uploaded a trailer breakdown. If you haven't seen it already, everyone go watch it. It's pretty cool. I spent a whole day editing it, uploaded it. It was like finally, yes. Check back five seconds later to see the reviews, and it says this video has been blocked worldwide. And I was like, what? So a guy with 700 subs, uh, with only about 20 active, messaging me for sub for sub, can have his unbanned. But me? Get a band? So I messaged back YouTube saying, 
do you disagree with this, we will review your case. And I said, yes, because a lot of other YouTubers, including some larger ones, have uploaded this trailer without permission from Treyarch, and have completely gotten away with it. And they've monetized it you know, without saying that they don't own any of this content. I haven't monetized it. I've said in the video and in the description that I don't own the trailer, and they still banned it. Wow, man. So you have, like, a... Later, after I send that email, it locked. Okay, all right, man, that's, that's cool. Like, I'm personally, uh, I'm looking forward to the Black Ops 2 DLC only for the zombies. I'm, I'm just, the Alcatraz factor of it is just freaking awesome. The whole I, magma lava, I'm just going to be like, shit, lava. Yeah. The, the, no, magma is going to annoy me. I know that for a fact, because you're just going to get melted. I'm so careless with that thing. Yeah, uh, like, on Crisis 3, with this map, it's like a building. I've totally forgotten, I think it's a skyline or something. I will jump around and, and for some random reason, just fall through the middle of the map. It's just like, because there's so many scaps in the buildings and stuff. But I think Encore's going to annoy me, Vertigo's going to annoy me, Studio, because I want to be a director and I love films and stuff, it's going to be amazing. And I'm just going to do some kind of run and gone montage, so I'm going to try and use the Executioner in the cowboy in the indian yeah but thing. isn't isn't studio like firing range it's got it's got firing range in it but it isn't firing range because basically it's got firing ranges in the aspects of shooting targets but that's only one part of it because the other parts are jurassic park king kong parts caribbean oh, stuff man. like that that's gonna be that's gonna be cool just just yeah, freaking i'm just gonna hide like hopefully you can just hide and act like a monkey behind it and just fool people and people are just running behind shoot them in the back uh, yeah, lol. <laughs> Get turned on, bruh. Yeah. yeah. But no, the Alcatraz thing looks amazing because I'm hoping to do a zombie let's play with my dad. And I'm bad at zombies. Believe it or not, I'm awesome at multiplayer, terrible at zombies. And he is bad at pretty much any FPS ever. So yeah, that's gonna go well. <laughs> We're gonna get past round two. Yeah, man. Uh, I was I was really interested in the whole Alcatraz zombies, partially because I'm turning into a big zombies fan thanks to Black Ops Two, and since they did so well with Die Rise, they did so well with Transit. I'm just like the most scariest zombies ever. I just I think about like doing turning my camera on and just seeing my reaction. <laughs> I totally disagree with doing well with Die Rise and Transit. They were horrible. I played one game of Die Rise and just left because I was so bored. Horrible? Because, I, uh, I don't know. I just find them so, like, because then you could get so much gameplay. You play one game, you get to, like, round oh, 20. Oh, yeah, that's, that's and true. And you get so much gameplay. Like, I have, like, an hour and a half of gameplay just because I was camping with mm. a freaking python. <laughs> I mean, like, good lord. I love like, Newtown. No, I will disagree with everything else, but I do like Newtown, and I like survival on town. I'm good at those, but I'm terrible at transit, because I freaking hate the denizens of the forest that jump onto your head. Who thought were those were a good idea? I don't know. I, I just feel like, just stay on the bus, and you'll be okay. <laughs> yeah, true. Stay on but the then the bus. thing is, I, I'm asking who thought those were a good idea. It's the same person that thought Target Finder would not annoy people. <laughs> Yeah, they're like, hey, man, what what could we do to make the game even better? Oh, yeah, let's make sure that everybody who uses this is able to see who is is being their camouflaged. And let's make sure not to give them recoil. Yeah, that's a, yeah, exactly. that works. This game rewards noobs. I'm sorry, but it does. It just allows you to camp so easily. See, I can't use Target Finder. I just find it so hard. I just... I can, but, like, I will rush with it. Because it's just instinct. I Even with assault rifles, I, I, I still play very well with them. I mean, with SWAT 506, even though it's like a three-burst slow, I still get 50 kills. Uh, yesterday, I got 50 to 4, I believe, rushing with the SWAT. Are you serious? Because what I do is yeah. I put Select Fire on, and I'm just no, rushing with I the SWAT. Can't, I can't use it, Select Fire. It's terrible. I don't know. But it kills pretty people, quickly. But, uh, yeah, well, yeah, true. A lot of people enjoy camping with some kind of... I, I just can't use... I, right, I tried camping in Modern Warfare 3 in Seatown for like two games with like some kind of weapon. I don't even remember what it was, because that was PS3. But I got so bored, I didn't even care that my KD was going down because it was my first Call of Duty game. 
I just couldn't face the fact that I would have paid forty pounds for a game and stood in one spot. I, I could I would never pay forty pounds for a game just to stand still. It's so retarded. Yeah, that's that's true, man. That's true. All right, man. You want to wrap this calm up? Yeah, sure. Well, uh, thanks a lot, and I've really enjoyed this. Actually, I should do more of these. Yeah, bro. Well, I that's what I love about dual comms. It's like pretty fun. You you have a person to talk to. It goes smoother. It's not like really rough. That you have you're the only person that's entertaining. Yeah. And it's, you don't sound insane just talking to yourself for yeah, ten minutes. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's much easier. You talk with other people, and I I just find it fun. I just find it fun. Yeah. So, yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this, please leave us a rating and possibly a comment. Yep. If you want, subscribe to me. Definitely subscribe to Akati Moose. Yep. His link is down in the description. And Definitely uh, subscribe to Meeksaur if you're on my channel. He's a freaking beast. Number one for bad content. It yeah. doesn't always live up to his name, I just say. <laughs> Thank you, man. Uh, so, yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, you want to say anything for the last part? Uh, drink Mountain Dew. It's awesome. Damn straight, man. Drink some of that shit. I am now. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys, and we'll be seeing you later. Peace out. Peace out.